Have you ever wondered what would happen to a plant that is exposed to total darkness versus one that is exposed to light? If you have, stay with me as we carry out this experiment to demonstrate the difference in growth for a plant that is exposed to total darkness versus one that is exposed to light. I am Mr. Wilson from TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com. To send us a mail, it's extremesolutionsja at gmail.com. Let's up right into the experiment. In A, the plant is exposed to a total dark condition. In B, it is exposed to light. If we observe carefully, the plant in the dark condition is growing a little faster than the plant that is exposed to the light. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Now, take key note of what is happening because we will need to determine what is the reason for that. Now, the plant being exposed, we're seeing that plant A is much taller than plant B. However, both plants started growing at the same time. We also observe that the leaves are yellow or A's tend to be really pale when compared to B, the plant that is exposed to light. Why is this so? Simply put, darkness causes the cells in A to elongate faster. The plant must use stored energy to grow in the dark. Hence, the cells elongate rapidly and the plant grow quickly to reach light for the process of photosynthesis. Now, this causes the plant that is in the total darkness to be tall, slender, and with small leaves. It's also important to note that the plant will have a pale yellow color as a result of not having chlorophyll. Now, if a plant does not reach light, it will run out of energy and eventually die. This type of growth in plant is referred to as etiolation. To know more about tropic experiment, follow my YouTube channel by liking, sharing, and of course, clicking that subscribe button and selecting all so you will be notified as soon as there is a new publication get help with csec biology sba labs and human and social biology sba labs at tcp-academy.com tim had questions he wanted to know where he could get help with his sba labs his parents searched but could not find that experience Tim also made some calls, however, could not find the help he needed. Tim needed an experience he could trust to help him get over the hurdle of SBAs as success was in sight. He met the guys from tcp-academy.teachable.com and they designed a program to help him. tcp-academy.teachable.com was able to help him. So too, they can help you. Sign up tcp-academy.teachable.com for help with your SBAs in biology and human and social biology. Remember to like, share, and of course, subscribe. I cannot say that too many times. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com. Send us a mail. It's extremesolutionsja 
at gmail.com. You can find us on YouTube at CSEC Biology TCP.